Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today at Friendship Shaving for a straight razor shave. thought I would uh, have a shave with a straight for a change and um, talk about that a little bit in this video. Just I've rinsed my face, I've just put a little bit of pre-shave on my troubled area. Today I'll be using my Joseph Rogers straight razor, which I have in this little case. And there we are. And I'll be using Albion today from Phoenix and Bow. A lovely bergamot, lavender and grapefruit scent. A lovely barber shop scent. Now if that will stay there, we'll be very pleased. So I've got some all lathered up on my Yaki Clear brush and uh, I've gone for a little bit more of a liquid lather today or I've tried to at any rate. So we'll see how successful that is once I get shaving. I find with a straight razor that using the pre-shave I notice that it sticks to the blade. Um, I like to shave with cold water when I use a straight razor um, and in fact quite often I shave with cold water or just barely warm water. Um, but what I'll probably start doing is rinsing my blade with warm water or hot water just to get that sort of oily residue off the edge of the blade. I don't know if it really matters, it's just something I notice. I think I've got a very nice lather. So we shall see how this goes as we go along. I don't know if you can see but I've got my strop on the back of the door here. That was a, a lovely gift from Paul Speller. Uh, he bought himself uh, a brand new strop and uh, passed that one on to me. I mean it looks barely used. I used to use, I've got it here, I've got a little Dovo strop and it is really just a travel strop. Um, but I've used that for years because it's short, I have to do more laps than I do on this longer strop. It is only a couple of inches wide of that Dovo strop and um, I have to learn to strop in an X stroke and uh, the new strop is three inches wide. It's a godsend, honestly, it makes such a difference. So now I think I'm ready to go. Got my uh, Joseph Rogers Sheffield steel with a little barber's notch, a nice Five eighths razor. I've been looking for a six eighths, just a little bit bigger. Let me just start in the big mirror. I'll do that on both sides and then I'll come back to this one. There we are. 
I can uh, put my glasses back on now. They get in the way a little bit when I do that. There we go, that's better. So yes, I've been looking for a razor that is just a little bit bigger. An extra eighth of an inch isn't much, but I'm thinking I'd like to try that. And I've been looking online on eBay I've noticed that the straight razors are really expensive on eBay these days. There are certain makes that particularly seem to command very high prices. Um, Double Duck from Germany or Puma from Germany. J.A. Henkels is another German uh, manufacturer that seem to command very high prices. Um, Philharmonica from Spain. And the thing I've noticed with a lot of these razors is that some of them sell for you know, a hundred dollars. Um, because I've noticed a lot of razors on eBay have been sold from the US. Um, but you know, you could pay a hundred dollars and postage and customs and then still have a razor that needs restoring or having uh, a nice edge put on it so although I was extremely lucky to get my weight and butcher for five pounds, I think that really is um, a rarity to get one for that price. Um, I've been looking for because that Wade and Butcher had a rounded tip, and uh, I've been looking for a straight a point. find that the rounded tips, personally, I find them more difficult to shave with around my ears and under my nose. They are meant to be easier for someone who's inexperienced to shave those areas, but I find I can't get in like up here, you know, I can't get in there as well as I would like. So this little barber's edge, barber's notch rather, is just about okay. If I hold it a bit closer, it's not a point, but it's not too rounded. 
Apparently the um, the square end is an American style. There is a French point which curves down that way to a very definite point or a Spanish point which has a, a concave uh, curve in the end and that is a very definite point as well. So I've been looking around for one of those. Um, maybe thinking about Christmas time. As we are heading quickly to that time of year, my sister was round the other day and just happened to say, is there anything you'd like for Christmas particularly? And I thought, aha, <laughs> actually there is. <laughs> so I will start looking and perhaps I'll be lucky. You know, I love this scent from Phoenix and Bow. I nearly said Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement, so I had to just stop myself. Phoenix and Bow. This is just so lovely and fresh. I love that we've got a picture of a queen on the front of the tub. And a poem from William Blake, or a little stanza from that poem. I will not cease from mental fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand, till we have built Jerusalem in England's green and pleasant land. 1810 that was written. And honestly, we're nowhere near building Jerusalem yet. But a lovely soap. So there we are. That was an easy first pass. We'll get on now to the second pass. Going to just start the same way again. This has turned into a very nice razor now. I sharpened it myself or honed it myself. And although it was shaved ready, I did the hair test on my legs. Just brush the blade up the hair on my legs, very lightly, you know, not, not on my skin, just in the middle of the hair. And the hairs were just throwing themselves off. So although it was shaved ready in that aspect, When I used it, it was as rough as anything. Um, I suppose in the same way that some razor blades are, you know, rough on your skin compared to others, but this was really rough. So I stropped it really, really well and used it. And it was a little bit better, dropped it again, and it is now really, really nice. Very smooth. Uh, and I've got three days growth for this show. I 
and actually it's pretty fantastic at the moment. So I'm very pleased with that and it, it's kind of It's kind of kick-started me to looking at straight razors again and um, yeah I don't think I'll ever have lots but certainly I've been enjoying this both of mine are knee wedges So talking about those expensive razors on eBay, I've decided to look at new razors just to see, you know, how expensive they were. In comparison to some of those vintage razors that quite often need work. So I looked at the Dovo website, Dovo in Solingen, Germany. Now they have a basic razor. Um, that is 88 or £99. A £99 razor is the half hollow razor I believe. I've always wanted to try a half hollow razor. It's sort of, um, you know, it's halfway between this wedge and a hollow ground razor. So I suppose a comparison might be it's a bit like using um, a single edged razor blade rather than a double edged razor blade. They tend to be just a little bit firmer but still allow some flexibility. Um, so I've been thinking about that. But I've also looked at some rough oust razors. Uh, uh, I hope I've said that correctly. These are handmade in Solingen, Germany. They have some etching on the blade that's beautiful, really beautiful. And um, they are a hollow ground razor, but they start at about £135 for the basic, and then obviously. You know, if you have chimps on or the pattern, it goes up a, a little bit. But um, for a true handmade razor, well, I thought it was very nice indeed. Very, very nice. So there's maybe two there. that I could look at. Um, who are another make? Booker. Booker make razors. Thiers Isard make razors in France, but I think they're quite expensive from, from looking. And they are made in a factory. I don't know about the others. I just know that Ralph Oust are truly handmade. Um, and they look very, very nice indeed. Here we go, third pass already. 
So I've been using the hot water just to uh, wash the blade away and that's working quite well. I've forgotten. I've forgotten the pre-shave in between passes. I will get the hang of this one day. <laughs> Maybe. I find with this wedge, my blade tends to stick a bit on my neck, going with uh, against the grain. Sorry, um, I don't know why that is. If you've got any ideas. I'd be glad to hear your thoughts. Just keep wiping my hands to make sure I don't put any moisture into that part of the razor. Because you bet your life that's where the rust will come. Now here's an odd thing. I'm very definitely right hand dominant. So when I started to shave with a straight razor, it was really the first time that I'd used my left hand for anything that you know, I would normally just do with my right hand. And I found rather oddly that I seem to find shaving with my left hand on this side of my face much easier than my right hand. I seem to just, it just seems to go easier. Uh, can't explain why that is. I had a lovely comment the other day, started me thinking about brushes. Um, a lot of my brushes are synthetic. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but up on the shelf there I've got my favourites. And then they're all bar one are oh, synthetic. What am I doing? Um, I like my two band badger. But a lot of my badges I don't use. Um, A lot of work passed on to me, but I've got some restoration brushes, um, some old brushes to restore if you've seen that video. I think I might be thinking about a bore bristle brush for some of those.
now. There we are, three passes and we're done. Just wipe my razor quickly. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm pleased with this razor, it's very sharp indeed. And uh, that was a really good shape. I can, after that last pass, feel that I've had a close shave, indeed I have. Um, so I'll just rinse my face with some cold and I'm going to put on a little bit of an alum today just to see how we've done. Yeah, that's a nice shave. up there actually my neck my neck is good it's around my mouth is where it's uh, particularly got me obviously on that softer skin must have got a little bit closer um, and I'm gonna try A little bit of Parasso pre-shave after my shave. We'll put some on there. I don't think there's any need for it. I'm just playing around with my pre-shave and experimenting with it a little bit. I'm using cold water so I don't think that will rinse off the pre-shave. Today I'm going to use some Parasso Green, which will go nice. It goes nicely with everything, doesn't it? Parasso Green. So there we go. And that is a very nice straight razor shave so thank you very much for joining me i don't do one of these very often but uh, i must admit i have enjoyed that one now i shall take some tissue out and clean and dry my razor and then i will do 60 strops on the canvas side and no, I won't. 40 on the canvas side, 60 on the leather side. That's what I do at the moment. If you've got uh, a better idea, um, let me know. And I'll see you next time around for a, uh, for a safety race shave. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, take care. Thanks for joining me and being part of my shave today. All the best now. Bye-bye.